What is up y'all? How's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another one of my videos, an album reaction. Today I am checking out Johnny Booth Moments Elsewhere. You guys have been hyping this album to no end, so I'm excited to finally see what all the hype is about. I know nothing about this album. I know nothing about the band. I know nothing about where they're from, what their sound is like, so I'm just kind of interested to jump in and check it out with an entirely clean palette. That's not the way to say it. How do you say it? No knowledge, no expectations. You all say I'm going to love this, so hope you're not wrong. Okay. Turn this up. That's fire. What an intro track, okay. Collapse in the key of fireworks. This is weird. What are we doing? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, see, now it just breaks. All right, all right, let me give my thoughts. Um, this light's been bothering me, sorry. It's crazy. I like it. It's kind of wild and all over the place. It hasn't really, it hasn't gripped me yet. It hasn't blown me away yet, but it's solid. We'll see if that changes. This is a fun little melody thing going on here. All right, this goes hard. Ooh. Oh, I like this part. Good chorus. They've got a lot of elements of 2000s metalcore, hardcore kind of stuff, but with a nice modern twist to it. This is my favorite song so far. Oh! Get it! Oh! Nice. All right, that's my favorite song so far. That's really good. I love the progression of that. This like whittle the this whittle. What am I three? This little this little thing in the beginning. I really liked. I love weird little electronic things like that. Let's go. Let's keep going. Interesting chord progression. That goes hard, that that part, but also the lyric. The ladders we climb are the same nails in our own coffins. Hardest bar of the year. Last year, because it came out last year. Ooh, okay. Okay. No. No. What are we doing? Ooh. Good breakdown. Good breakdown. <laughs> this is a very loath chord progression. It's very similar to Two Way Mirror and Is It Really You? But, you know, sonically, it's it's different. But the chord progression itself is similar to those songs. I hope they continue this. Can I got that jazzy chord? Yes! Ooh! That's such an interesting chord. So it feels like we're in this key. And then we go to... That in combination with like the hip hop drums and the the overall vibe of this is really cool. Ooh. 
Yeah! <laughs> Bam. Bam! That little, like... Feels like it's like the sound is collapsing. That's disgusting. <laughs> They've been really good with these switch-ups. And adding in these elements of, like, hip-hop and electronic music in the instrumentals. I think the best part of this album is how you don't really know what's coming next. How the song structures are still pretty overall, if you look at the grand scheme of things, they're pretty basic, but it's what they do within those song structures that makes it so interesting. I said the same thing with Vola, I think it was, where they still have some like, you know, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge slash breakdown, end of the song maybe another chorus maybe something like that but it's what happens within that that's interesting it's not so much any subversion of the song structure itself but it's a way of using that structure to make the song interesting instead of that structure just being repeating the different sections there's some cool vocal layering going on here nice little vocal harmonies very subtle harmonies, but really interesting. Their chord choices are really good. They're not just sticking with like a four chord progression. There's a lot of unexpected ones in there. Violin. Okay. Ooh. Sing it, dude. I liked most of that song the only part that i didn't really like was the chorus and that's purely because of my dislike for this certain chord progression i don't like that chord progression specifically i can't quite explain it why i don't like it but i i just don't that was a good ballad track overall okay is this the mega heavy track of the album This is groovy. Not the tambourine. What? <laughs> a tambourine usually feels so out of place in a heavy song, but adds to the groove here. This feels like Darko. Y'all, where are we going with this? Is that a phone? Oh, bass. Chonky bass. Oh. That was a yucky song. Oh. That's so hard. guitar solo or is this just a riff no it's just a riff okay i think it's a good album so far and i'll kind of elaborate more on this at the end but i think there might be parts of it that to me at least i just think overall it's not really gripping me in a way that i thought it would on first listen compared to what everyone else is saying now maybe it will grow on me because I felt similarly about albums like Fatalism, for example, which was, I think, I think that was the first album reaction I ever did on my channel. I'm pretty sure. Um, anyway, but I listened to that and I was like, yeah, this is good. It's got some really good parts and I think maybe it might grow on me. And then it did. And this might be in the same boat. <laughs> Big fan of weird noises like that. Oh, I love tempo switch-ups. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> oh, this is the best part of the album so far. Yeah, that might be my favorite heavy song of the album. I like this verse part. 
where the guitar is cut out and it's just the, the, the drums and the vocals. Oh! <laughs> a little like beatbox section? That was a good song. This is the last track, right? Yeah, outro. Does this specific drumming pattern have a name? It's not, it's not blast beats. It's not, I, I don't know what it is, but it, it's better like, like, you know, they did it in the beginning too, where it's like, the, it's very, it's a very like 2000s metalcore type drum beat. That's kind of why I drew those comparisons. What is this called? I probably know what it's called. I just don't know that that's what this is. Is that called something? Let me know. Yes, this part goes so hard. Oh, that's chuggy. Cool outro. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much everything that I've said still stands. It didn't really hit me that hard on first listen, but I think it might be a grower. It has a lot of those elements, like I said, that I really, really like, and I can feel myself liking this more on subsequent listens. So stay tuned for my other thoughts. But yeah, for now, it's a it's a solid album. It's a solid album. It's, it's really solid.